Okay, this is a little video demonstration to show you how to secure the ball on our GTX model that's just been released. Like with all new products, there's a few little refinements that need to take place. And this is one that we're doing with the wingtip steering. So, this is the kit. If you like, most of the gliders already have this on. Uh, some not, but we're going to uh, start with the knot on the wingtip steering line or on the stabilizer. So this is the rear stabilizer line, and here we see we have a little attachment knot and we have our wingtip steering line. So the first thing is, is to undo the wingtip steering near the risers and come back up here and feed the wingtip steering line through the knot. That's how we undo it. You see it just pulls off like that. Now the next thing is, because we're going, we need to move the knot 10 centimeters closer to the riser in order to have our, our new secure, uh, securing our ball to the line, so we'll go through that in a minute, but first is to move this knot. So, you can see there's a little mark on the end there, that's the middle of the knot. The knot eats up, or uses, 8 centimeters of line that, so it's very easy, you just undo the knot, and you can see there's, there's three marks on the knot, and if you measure them, they'll be four centimeters apart. Yeah. So there's the middle of the knot, and there's uh, four centimeters of, of, of knot required. So we're going to move it ten centimeters, so I take the middle mark, and I make a second middle mark, which I've already done on this line, there it is. So now my new position of the knot has gone from here to here. I now fold it in that middle. I mark the four centimeters there and there, as you can see. There. It's not a critical line. I mean, it can be a few millimeters out. It wouldn't be the end of the world. There you are, four millimeters. Now I can remake the knot like this. Make it fairly tight. You have to leave enough of a loop, obviously, to pass the, the line back through later on. And there you are, there's your new position of your knot on your wingtip steering line, or your, sorry, your wingtip steering line as it attaches to the rear stabiliser line on the GTX model. Okay, having moved, having moved our knot, we need to reattach our line to it. So, we just put the line simply straight over the loop. We pass it through the loop, like so. It's now attached, and then we're going to attach it to the risers, but first of all we just assemble it. Now the new assembly is very simple. We take the blue ball, or the ball, we pass it through the ball, and then we go through again, like so. And then we take our little bead, which is better to have the tapered end facing into the ball, so that's like that. Yeah. And then we have our bungee, which we just do the same system as we looped on there. Just pass it through itself, like so. A little more. And we take up the slack, pass it through, tighten up that, like that. Okay, we have a line on the outside, but it stops our ball from sliding up and down the line. And that's what's important here. And uh, we've moved the knot down so that it's not going to affect the glider in any way. It's not a critical line either, so we can make this adjustment quite safely. And uh, there you go. And uh, now we're going to fit this to the riser, the riser being up this end. You can see we've got two men in, so it's quite easy. All we've got to do is to attach this one to the bottom mallion here, little baby mallion. Oops. There, and this one through here. Same, same, same device. Now, one thing I would suggest is that we take a little bit of Loctite. And I'll show you that now. This is the same with all our manners. They are product Loctite. The super glue would do, but Loctite's the best. And we put a tiny blob. Not too much, just a tiny blob. On, on the manual. 
same. And then before closing it up. It doesn't have to be over tight or anything, it just needs to be firm. So we use a uh, small uh, spanner or a little grips to, uh, to, to, to make it tight so it doesn't rattle undone with vibrations and things. Anyway, there you have it. So you're now left with your steering toggle next door to your ball. It's a fantastic system. You can pull the brake or you can pull the ball and the brake together. It's simple, it works, we love it and we hope you do too. hope this has been instructive. Any questions, you can write us an email to our technical department to find out more. Okay, that's it. Bye.